Hi everybody, check this one out. The integration of nanotechnology into the biosensory world to monitor or control human life is where the line in the sand is drawn for the human being. The majority of high impact technologies that utilize brain computer interface as a brain chip or biosensor would be for the following. Control and monitoring of the brain and bodily functions. Control and monitoring of the behavior of the individual. Sending and receiving verbal commands. Stimulation of bioelectrical transmissions with the neuron trees of the nerves may be utilized as a listening device for remote sensing and monitoring may be used as a transmitter for listening in on conversations within a specific area that the individual may be in that has the device implanted in them. If there is a digital computer component to the device, it may be used to capture visual transmissions as a walking, talking, monitoring system. A high-tech extrinsic spying system, especially for industrial, military espionage, and many other aspects as related to the multiple use applications of mesogens. It is our own individual divine right as a human being created in God's own image by his own hands to be a human, a human that has free will as originally designed by the Creator and not to be enslaved by a man-made brain chip that can be dispersed in the air, shot at you with a microwave, then controlled by your TV, computer, or cell phone. When these materials interface into the human, they become the transhuman to be controlled by another transhuman, who may have very well been a human at one time. Now is the time for all of humanity to realize that enough is enough and no human was created to be turned into a post-human species. That was never the true divine plan of the universe. This is what's been going on, people. I'm convinced of it. They've been spraying this stuff in chemtrails and these tiny uh, nano-sized particles are within our bodies. They are self-assembling. They are self-replicating. In other words, immortal. And um, if you don't believe it's true, you need to, to read the full report. And this is in no doubt a reality. And uh, it's quite likely going on in the bodies of most people today. Now, I'm not sure if the final chip has been implanted yet, and it just might be coming in the year 2013 in the U.S. with that new uh, uh, plan of Obama's to get everybody chipped. Oh yeah, they're going to tell you it's so you can have all your medical record on the little chip. Well, this is what it's really for, folks. Okay, it's really this. This is really what hell is all about. A hell being trapped in a cyborg body for eternity. You can't even die. You'll be begging, begging to die if this 
is, is what's allowed to go down. Absolutely. I'm going to keep making videos about this because this is what this is what the underground bases are for. Okay? The underground bases are for experiments on you. Okay? Making a new model of human beings. And it's not going to be good. It's going to be a living hell for anybody that goes for this. Oh, anyhow, Marcia signing out. Thanks for watching. I'll post a link to the full article below.